Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So, we're into the fourth week of Boho in the Mixed Media Emporium. And today I'm going to be working on some cheap and cheerful pages in my Boho journal. So these are just some of the Boho doodles that uh, I showed you how to draw last week. And all I did was, this time I drew some just simply using some almost felt tip pens, they were Tombos, and here's the image, or an image, of me starting to work on them. Now I also have those little embellishments that I made right at the start, my tags, I've sewn some little scraps of fabric onto these just to add little bits of interest. All I've used are tiny, tiny bits of fabric that I have lying around. What I've also done is I've taken some of my pages and I've machine stitched them together. Now I could have done this by hand but it just seemed quicker to do it this way. What I forgot to do before stitching them was I want to just put a little uh, in indentation, that's not the word but you know what I mean, I just want to uh, punch a little bit out just to make it easier to get in and out of the pockets and to actually see where the pockets are. And all I'm going to do to uh, time being is to put some tags into these pockets. So I'll do the same there. I've sewn on this little piece of fabric just to make a pocket there and stitched on some wool, some yarn. I stitched on one of these. Again, just machine stitched it on. I was going to do some fabric pieces onto that but just decided to stitch the paper onto it, another pocket and I've sewn some little tabs on, again just machine stitched and you'll see these are tiny scrap fabrics and I've not even cut them into a decent shape, I've just taken them as they are. So today I'm just going to use some double sided tape to stick my embellishments down. I will do some words along the way, as you'll see, just in a couple of different styles of writing, nothing fancy, and I'm just going to start working on these pages. So to begin with, I'm just going to take that peace sign. I left it quite simple, I liked the way it turned out, just with the one colour of pen. And all I'm going to do now is to use my Tombows just to write love and peace. I want that to be on the opening page of my journal. So I'm taking this kind of light pink and you could do this with any sort of pen. Uh, felt tip pens work particularly well but you know you could use any pens at all, even just a plain black pen. So I'm just doing some bubble writing for this. Now the Tombows are handy that they've got a kind of brush tip on one side and more a, a basic kind of bullet tip, I think it's called, on the other side. So I'm just going to fill in the word love using the brush end and then I'm just going to take my darker colour of pink and give it a little shadow effect around the edges. And this will just help my word stand out that little bit more. I used to love, funnily enough, doing bubble writing. I probably could sit for hours doing this sort of thing. And I'm just going to write and just in a kind of normal way. I'm not going to do that in the bubble. And I'm going to write piece as well. And I'll just skip ahead with that just going to freehand cut them out. I don't want it to be straight or anything, just continuing that kind of notion of the bubble shape around the words. And all I'll do is to stick all of this down with the double sided tape. And this is just a lightweight card stock that I've used for these going on to. Just going to go around the edge with my darker pen, just to give it a bit of an edge and then I will put them down and in place. So what I'm about today is just showing you some easy ways to start filling pages. If you have some of those amazing boho images, you know, of the the, the kind of vintage boho woman and that's your thing, then use that. 
I'm going for a kind of, as I've said before, a kind of grungy, hippie, positive vibes type boho. And boho really can be whatever you want it to be. So again, just punching a hole there and I'm just jumping forward some pages to see where I want to go next. Now, just by chance, more than design, a lot of the colours that I've used in the background seem to be matching with the colours in my pens, so it, it's worked out quite well. But as I say, that's more by chance than by design. But I like the feather against that particular background. It's a kind of turquoise and green. And this time all I'm going to do is to write some words directly onto the page, just using the black pen this time. And I'm just going to write free spirit. You see me hesitate now and again, that's just in terms of thinking, am I spelling this correctly? If I'd got it wrong, I would have just stuck a piece of paper across the top. Just going over that again, just thickening up the letters a little bit. Now, if you're into cal calligraphy, you could make this, you know, really fancy writing. I'm not trying to do that. Just adding a little couple of dots here and there just to give it a bit of movement almost. Again, just sticking this down with the double sided tape. I think a glue stick would have worked fine with this. I just wasn't sure with my base paper being textured. And you see with the feather that I had actually left a little white round line around outside when I'd cut it out. And I think that works quite well with this one and helps it stand out from the background. And I'll just put that in place. And here I just decide to take one of my pens and do a little bit of doodling on the top and the bottom. The It takes on a slightly different colour because it's against the kind of green-blue background. And the Tombows are, to a certain extent, water-soluble. So if you use a lighter colour on top of a dark colour, you do get a little bit of drag from it. So I'm going to use some of those stamped embellishments that I made in the very first week. I'm just going to stick these down. And all I'm trying to do today is to create a few pages that will give me a good start in the journal. You know, it's good to have those coloured pages. They're working out well for me. All I want now is a few pages so that when I go back in to use this journal, I've already started it, I may do journaling in it, I may do some art journaling in it, I might just clip some things into it, I don't know at this point. But I very much envisage this as a journal that could travel with me. I'm just going to go for a darker pen here, that one was just a little bit on the light side. And you know, although I can't travel at the moment, I can travel in my mind. So I have some images from old travel brochures. I might actually add those into it at some point. As I say, I want this to be a worn looking journal, a well-travelled journal, one that's uh, been around the world with me a few times and that definitely is in my dreams. But just something that Wherever I am, I can pick up and doodle. And as I say, at this point in time, that will just be in my mind. But that's okay. That's fun. I think it's a time to let your imagination run riot with your journals. And as I say, this one is all about positivity and positive vibes and just having that kind of feel-good factor. So again, with these little things, just a case of doodling away, just the simplest of dots and little scalloped edges is all it needs, then just colouring in those. I, I could sit and do this kind of thing for hours and hours. It's nothing fancy, but, you know, it's art. It's me doing my thing. 
and it's what makes me happy. And you know what I would always try and, and show is that you don't need a lot of money to make art. It's good to have some basic supplies. Okay, the Tombows are more expensive than, than some other pens, but you'll have seen that I have pens that came from supermarkets that weren't terribly expensive. I use all of those as well. So please use whatever you have. Don't ever feel that you need to go out and, and buy things to do any type of art. And you know my little doodles, they're working out well here. In, in my opinion, they won't be everybody's cup of tea. I will always say that, but you know. And here again, looking at these two pages, this, this doodle would go well on either. It's got the green from the kind of blue green page and also the pink from the other page. So there I was thinking, oh, which one do I prefer it on? Just taking my black pen around the edge there because where I cut it out, there was a little bit of white. So I was just putting some black on it. Here again, I'm just going to make another little kind of journaling card with just some positive words on the front and I'm just going to tuck it into that little pocket. Again just taking the kind of brush end and all I'm going to write here is wild forever and I'll go over that just to make it stand out a bit but keeping it quite messy not looking to have this as a perfect script in any way. And even once these are in the journal, I can go back, I can journal on the back of it, I can add more doodles, whatever I want. And all I'm going to do here is some very simple flower designs on it. And again, a little scalloped edge. Liking the moon on that little kind of half page and again just using my double sided tape to put it on. And now all I'll do is to take the black pen again just to clean up some of the little edges on it. Not essential but it just finishes it off for me. And then what I'm going to do is to take my white sharpie pen and just to do some little dots almost as stars. Now there's some wonderful work going on in the Mixed Media Emporium. Uh, people sharing their work, really, really amazing things that uh, members are doing. So if you want to join that group, if you're not already a member, I will leave a link to the group below. Meantime, I'm just going to continue with these pages, just looking at what I might want to do next. And I'm just going to tuck those other little ones in there. Now what I'm bringing out here is a little pack of die cuts. Yesterday I had to nip out for some groceries, keeping the uh, usual distance now in between myself and other shoppers. And it was to Aldi and I just happened, I couldn't help myself but have a quick look at the craft section as I went past and they had this little pack of die cuts, 99 pence, it had the butterfly on top and I thought, oh I wonder if I could find some boho things in this. So there I am, that's the first of me opening it, just looking through, there's a few things that I think would fit well with this journal. So 99 pence, probably that's not much more than a, 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 a dollar and I thought this was quite a nice, reasonably inexpensive way just to add some pre-made embellishments to the journal. Just taking a couple of paper clips there just to clip those other tags in place. And I'm just going to look at how I can add these. And again, quite by chance, the colours seem to work well with this particular journal. So looking at how I might add that in and where I might add it in, and what I'm thinking with this one is it might make quite a good tuck spot. This this was quite a thick die cut and I thought well if I can put this in place just with a little bit of tape and I put a piece 
along that edge and along the bottom and then I'll be able to use this as a little tuck spot for anything that I want to add to the journal. So just pushing that down with the back of my scissors, put it in place and there you go. I can add some other tags in there if I want and looking now at where I might add the flower power one. Now funnily enough flower power had been one of the little word things I was going to make but here I've got a ready-made one. And again, just putting them in place with the double-sided tape. And this one I've put in a way that, again, it could be used as a little tuck spot. And I will do likewise with this one. This one wasn't quite as thick card as some of the others, but again, it will act as a tuck spot. I like that butterfly, it picks up the light. Looking at the, the bird as well, the hummingbird, but I decide to stick the butterfly there. And that gives me a nice little double spread. And I'm just going to stick the hummingbird down on a page as well. I'm not going to add anything else to that page at this point in time. So, I decide that I need something else on the outside, but at this point I'm liking that my journal is getting chunkier. I think most of us like a nice chunky journal. And all I'm going to do here is take some little scraps of fabric. Now some of these fabrics I think I showed in my very first video. Some of these likes of that piece I think came with it could have been the handle of a gift wrap bag or, or something like that. A lot of these little bits that, for example, was on a gift bag, I think. Others are just tiny, tiny pieces of fabric. All I've done is to double the cerise piece across my ring and I'm literally just going to tie some little scraps now around these. And some of these are quite small, I think I'll show here. This is only about three inches. That was probably about the smallest I was able to, to tie around. Even had a piece of kind of hessian rickrack, a piece of twine. And I'm just going to add those two to make a little dangle. So I hope you've enjoyed doing boho and we will obviously be moving on to a new prompt next week. Next week we'll be into May. Hard to believe we're into, we'll be into May already. But I hope you've enjoyed boho. I hope that between Nina and myself we've shown you a number of different ways that you can approach boho. I will of course leave a link to Nina's video from this week in the description box below and I will also leave a link to the playlist for this particular boho journal. I do have another two boho journals on the go and at some point I will get back to working on them and finishing them off. So just doing a very quick flip through here. Lots more work to be done in, in this at some point, just as I go along. And I'll leave some images at the end just for you to see a few of those pages and how the journal looks. OK, so all that remains is for me to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Love and peace to you all. Please take care and stay safe. See you again next time. Bye for now.